But first, nine is on your side following developments across the east as creeks and rivers rise to flood stage. We have live team coverage of the impacts across the area tonight. And we start with WNCT's Madison Forsey live in Grifton. Madison, what are you seeing there tonight? Ken, I'm here at Contentia Creek Park, and honestly, it's looking, parts of it are looking more like a lake at this point. Check out this sign behind me. These signs are placed along different creeks and rivers to help mark flood water. As you can see, that water is just below two feet, and honestly, it's dropped within the last hour, which means good things for the folks living here along the Contentia Creek. But across the east, it's a similar scene. In Kinston, the Newsway Nature Park is flooded. People that stop to take a look at the water down there tell me it happened overnight. Flood water completely covering picnic tables and the camping area, making it impossible for kids to play on the playground. It's kind of depressing a little bit because my son loves to go to that park. And then with COVID, it kind of makes it even more restricted. Water levels are starting to go down in Hookerton. According to people that live there, homeowners on Loop Road were stranded because of high water. People here in Grifton say they're seeing a similar thing, but over on Creek Shore Road, the residents living along that road still have a headache on their hands with a large portion of that road just washed out by flood water. First Alert Meteorologist Zoe Mintz is here with me. And Zoe, what can people expect as they go into this week? How long are they going to have to deal with these flood waters? It depends where you are. The National Weather Service actually called this river flooding catastrophic in Green and Lenore counties. In northwestern Green County, they got the brunt of the flooding. Un or the, unfortunately, the National Weather Service doesn't call flooding catastrophic very often. And as you can see behind me, you can see exactly why. Then, uh, Actually, there is good news though when it comes to the con content contentnia. It crested on Sunday at 19.72 feet and it's slowly subsiding. The creek is currently at 18 feet right on the edge of major and moderate flooding, but it's expected to get back down to minor flood stage as early as Friday. The Tar River is also expected to begin subsiding. However, the Noose River is still on the rise in Kinston and Fort Barnwell. The river is forecast to crest as major and minor flooding on Friday and Saturday respectively. That means river levels will only continue to rise in those areas until the weekend. And it really doesn't matter what river you come across, no matter where you are across the east, whether you are still near the Tar River or the Noose River, with, or those river levels are still flooded. So if you come across one of those roads, please remember to stay weather aware. Turn around, do not drown. It's not worth risking your life just to get somewhere slightly quicker. I really send all my prayers to those that were affected by this flooding, and I hope all of you stay safe in the coming days as the Noose River is not forecast to crest until this weekend. Back to you, Ken. All right, Zoe Mintz live in Grifton tonight. Thanks.